So as the title and thumbnail suggests, we've got a nice, easy to follow VR tutorial, start to finish on how to set up your VR with your PC so you can play some sim racing games. Somebody asked for it in the YouTube comments, so here it is. If you find the video useful, drop a like, drop a sub, drop a comment, you know what to do. Let's get straight on with it. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is uninstall Oculus fully and then redo the full lot, install, sign in, all that stuff so you can see exactly what you have to do. Okay, now that that's done, first thing to do is head over to Google and just type in Oculus app download. Click on this top link here, Meta Store, it will automatically download. I mean, it's all pretty straightforward. It's stuff we've seen before. Terms and conditions, install now. Okay, finally, installed. You should just be able to click login. Like for me, obviously I've been signed in before. So like it'll just suggest, you know, my login details and I can go to the next part. Oh, this is a stupid thing it does as well. So what I'll have to do is go to display, if it's gonna let me, change this to 250 rather than fr from 300 which is you know it literally says recommended because we can't see these controls at the bottom so if you have the same thing this is what you need to do continue i guess so select your headset mine is a quest free and then it's going to ask which connection type you're using i would advise you use a link cable you can run a lot higher bit rate you're going to get a, like a more consistent data transfer and this is the method that I use. So now it's going to ask you to plug in your headset and then it should ask us to do a speed test. Yeah. Sometimes when you click this, it won't do it first go. It'll say failed. Oh, look, it, it worked. But sometimes it'll say failed. Just click it again. Sometimes you might have to do it three or four times. If you're getting anywhere near this three gigabits per second, you'll be chilling. I think the minimum requirement is like 2.2, if if I remember right. And that is literally it. So now the VR is connected to the PC. We can click on this, click on this top part here, and it will bring up this little sad option screen. And then by default, it will be set to 72 Hz. You have to untick this to be able to change the resolution. I tend to run it at 90 FPS and max resolution. So you'll press save and restart if your PC can handle it. Like, So on my old 3080 and i7 11700K, I was able to run AC and Oculus on max settings. So if you have a similar spec PC to that, you should be fine. So when you put the VR on, this is what you'll see. The easiest way to bring it up is by clicking on this little battery icon at the bottom and it'll take you straight to the menu. Click on where it says link and just make sure that this thing at the top is toggled off. If it's toggled on, that'll bring up the air link if that's what you're trying to do. But leave it off if you're doing it with the cable. So now the headset is connected to the PC. You can just double click on this, just to check, 90 hertz, max resolution. There's a couple more things we need to do first before we actually get started in the game. This PC, C drive, program files, Oculus, and then go support, diagnostics, and Oculus debug tool. I suggest you create a shortcut for this create a shortcut and it will put it on your desktop so open this up basically the only thing you need to change in here is 
Uh, this asynchronous space warp will limit your frame rate. So disable this. This is something that you need to remember to do. This is why we create the shortcut because you're going to have to do this every single time. So the next setting is distortion curve, which is basically like foveated rendering. You could use high for a, a slight performance gain, but just use low for a sharper image. So the same with this link sharpening down at the bottom, it's supposed to sharpen the image. Uh, don't really know if it makes a huge difference. Just pick either normal or quality. So come back up to video codec, select H.264 for this, and then just underneath that, dynamic bitrate, disable this, and then come down to encoder bitrate and type in 700. You can actually run 800, 900. Uh, you didn't actually have to, used to be able to just input this either. You had to like type it in this bottom box or type it in a notepad and then copy and paste it in. But I guess they've fixed it. So you can just put in whatever you want. But there was a guy in my Discord who was running is at like 8 or 900. And I found when I was running man at that, that I would get like stutters and lag. And I put it down to 700 and it fixed it. And I suggested him do the same thing. And it fixed his for him as well. So try 800. If it starts to lag, put it down to 700. These settings at the bottom will stay, by the way. Every time you come on, you just need to change the asynchronous space warp. So now, if you aren't already, download and install Content Manager. I'm sure 99% of you will have. Uh, we can just type in the set of course there, Content Manager. You can grab it from both links. I've always used this website. But we scroll down, download directly. Not going to go into installing Content Manager, but it's pretty simple. And then once you're in, we're not going to bother with, you know, OpenXR or what's this other one? Desktop, virtual desktop and all this other crap. You don't need it, honestly. You need to change your screen resolution or your screen rendering mode to Oculus Rift. I actually turned this down from 4K when recording. Even with 4070 Ti Super and a 7800X3D, I can't record and play the game in max res, you know, and record in 4K at the same time. 1440 is my limit. So I just, because I play in VR anyway, I just leave it on this. But if we limit the frame rate and put it up to 100, because the VR is, this, this will override this. So because the VR is set to 90, it will run at 90 fps and there is another vr option in here mode tweaks vr this does nothing leave this turned off and also leave this turned off if you want to see what's on the screen if you turn this on your screen will just turn black i don't know why i've tried using it man i make videos in vr like every time I turn this on, I just get a black screen. So if you have a black screen, this is why. So I'll just jump in, in the VR. I'll put the um, NVIDIA readout in the top. So you can see it sits at 90 FPS when we're in game with them settings. So there we go then, in the game. And you can see in the top right that we're not getting 90 FPS. So this is actually a bug and I don't know if it's from Oculus or if it's strictly for Quest free owners but I've seen a few posts on Reddit and some pictures where people are saying they're locked at 72 no matter what the settings are. I spoke to somebody from Oculus and even they couldn't fix it. But I've got the fix. What you need to do is open up the Oculus app, go into settings, go to betas and check this little tab here. Just run the beta test version. Uh, it's, if it doesn't download, just restart the headset anyway, I would suggest. If you come over to this other tab, uh, it'll show it downloading in here. If it's not downloading, like I said, just restart the headset and it should force the download. So back into the game then. Also, new background. Sick. So now we're back in the game and we can see 
we're at 90 fps everything's as it should be we're in vr it's running smooth perfect so another thing that you can do as well to increase the quality of the image even more but it's quite costly on performance is come back into the video settings and turn this pixels per display up like i said it could be quite costly uh i normally run it on 1.2 but for some reason right now uh it's costing me frames so i'm uh, actually running it at 1.1 but yeah that's it if you have any problems or any questions leave them in the comments i've replied to every single comment that everybody leaves and if you actually need further assistance just join the discord and talk to me in there i'm happy to jump in a call if this tutorial doesn't help we'll figure it out but yeah i think we covered everything if you enjoyed the video and you found it useful drop a like if you want to see more content like this subscribe oh.